Today, we're talking about this guy. Now I know what you're thinking. Can you really make an entire video about coins coming out of blocks? Well, let me ask you this. Exactly how many coins can you get from one of these bad boys? You think you know the right answer? You confident? What about one of them? Or one of these? If you said 10 for any of them, you are wrong. And you are exactly why I'm making this video. Because I hear people call this a 10 coin block, and I'm bothered enough to make a whole video about it. Welcome to the life of psychopath speedrunners like me. Now some are 10, I'll give you that, but not all coin cubes are created equal. So buckle up and get ready to learn all the intricate details of multi-coin blocks in Super Mario Bros. Real quick before I get started on that, I do need to mention the sponsor of this video. This video is sponsored by HelloFresh. HelloFresh is a meal delivery service that sends a box of farm fresh food straight to your door. Whether you just need something for lunch or it's dinner for a special occasion, they've got you covered with 50 weekly options you can choose from. I chose the pecan crusted chicken and it was really good. One of the best parts of HelloFresh is that you can customize your plan at any time. So if you try it out and you decide you need more or less food in the next box or you wanna skip a week or whatever, it's really easy to do that. You also can do things like add extra servings one week if you're planning to have people over or even if you just want some leftovers for lunch the next day. The service is also just a good way to save yourself the time and stress of deciding what to eat, finding out you don't have all the ingredients, having to make a trip to the store, and all of that. It comes with everything pre-portioned, so you have exactly what you need and the right amount of it. The instructions are also really easy to follow. I'm not the greatest cook myself, but I've made a few of these meals so far, and it's been a simple enough process. Thanks HelloFresh for sponsoring this video, and if you'd like to try it yourself, use my link in the description, or go to HelloFresh.com and use the code POGCOSMIC16 for up to 16 free meals plus 3 surprise gifts across 6 HelloFresh boxes. And free shipping! Alright, everybody ready for the nitty gritty? Before we can talk about multi-coin blocks, we need to talk about frame rules. That was a joke, but also true. For those uninitiated, the next part will make a lot more sense if you learn about frame rules from this video by Bismuth. As Bismuth explains in that video, Super Mario Bros uses a lot of different timers to regulate things like level transitions, enemy behavior, and so on. That's usually achieved by the game waiting an arbitrary number of frame rules, or 0.35 second chunks of time, before something happens. For example, at the end of stages, it waits 6 frame rules after this flag appears before transitioning to the next level. This leads to some inconsistency though. Since the frame rule timer is always counting down throughout the level, it could be anywhere in its 21 frame cycle at the point the game tries to use it for something. In the case of level transitioning, you might think when the game waits 6 frame rules, that should be 6 times 21 frames, which is 126 frames, or 2.1 seconds but it actually depends on where the frame rule counter is at when it starts counting. When you boot up the game, the frame rule counter starts at 20 and counts down by one every frame. Then when it hits zero, it loops back to 20. That moment where it loops is what actually counts to make the other timers in the game tick down. I promise where I'm going with this is all about to make sense, so bear with me. When it's time for the game to wait six frame rules before transitioning to the next level, the value of the frame rule counter could be anywhere from zero to 20, right? So if it's at, I don't know, let's say mm, zero at that moment, that means that after just one more frame passes, the frame rule counter is going to loop back to 20 and the game will consider a frame rule to have passed already. So overall in this case, the total amount of time you're going to wait for the level transition counter to reach six is this one frame plus the five remaining full frame rules. Hopefully that all made sense, and hopefully at this point it makes sense to you when I say the length of timers that use the frame rule counter is not the number of frame rules times 20 on frames, like you might expect, but it's actually n minus 1 frame rules plus somewhere between 1 and 21 frames, depending on where the frame rule counter is at when it starts being used. <sighs> uh, hope you're still with me. I have great news, and it's that we can finally talk about the multi-coin block, you know, the subject of the video. The reason I had to explain all of that is because multi-coin blocks in the original Super Mario Bros. don't have a fixed amount of coins you can get from them. The maximum number you can get depends on how many times you can jump into the block within a certain amount of time. And as you may have guessed, the game uses frame rules to determine that amount of time. So how much time is it exactly? 11 ticks of the frame rule counter. Haha, -ha, now all that frame rule stuff's finally relevant. I'm going to show some of the code of the game here, mostly to make myself feel cool, but also just to show where the 11 comes from. You can pause here if you're a nerd and you want to read it all, like I know I would. 
Alright, so now we know we have 11 ticks of the frame rule counter to get coins out of the block. Pop quiz! How long is that exactly? If you answered 10 times 21 frames, plus an extra 1 to 21 frames, then you are a winner. Give yourself a thumbs up, maybe the video too while you're at it? <laughs> I'm so dumb. Alright, anyway, yeah. If the frame rule counter is at 0 when we first hit the block, then the first tick will only take 1 frame. But if the frame rule counter is at 20, it'll take 21 frames before the first tick happens. Ultimately what that means is the total window to get coins from a multi-coin block is anywhere from 211 to 231 frames, which is ballpark 3.5 seconds. So that's it, right? Well, we're most of the way there at least. The block will always have one coin available even after 11 frame rule ticks have passed. Under ideal circumstances, the 11th tick happens after 231 frames, so we need to get our last hit in on frame 230 or sooner. Then we have all the time in the world to grab the last coin. Or until that happens at least. Okay, let me finally tell you how many coins you can get from a multi-coin block in this game. It takes 16 frames between each time you can hit a coin block. If you try and hit it any sooner than that, you'll just bonk the block when it's not ready to give another coin, and nothing will happen. For that reason, it's not necessarily easier to get more coins from a block that's directly above you. The most common height for a block to be above you is two blocks above Mario's head. The big Mario's head at least. We'll get to small Mario later. At this height, if you jump as soon as possible after hitting the block, you'll hit it again too quickly and not get a coin. So you need to jump one frame after landing on the ground to be optimal. And that makes it pretty tricky. Alright, it's time for the big reveal. Remember, you get the first and last coins for free basically, since the timer hasn't started yet on the first coin, and it doesn't matter that it's already ended for the last coin. If you jump with perfect timing for the rest of the jumps, you can collect 15 coins from the block in 224 frames. At that point time's up, the 11th tick of the counter is going to happen before you're able to hit the block again, so the next hit will empty the block and you will stand there victorious with 16 beautiful coins. If your first hit was at a good time. Remember you only have 230 frames to collect the coins under optimal conditions. The frame rule counter could be anywhere from 0 to 20 when you start hitting the block. If your first hit is when it's at 20, and afterwards you do 14 frame perfect jumps, You'll get your 15th hit in with 6 frames to spare, and you can collect your 16th coin from there. But if the frame rule counter is lower, you'll have less wiggle room, or in most cases, it will actually be completely impossible to get 16 coins. Only the top 1 third of cases make 16 coins possible. That means the other 2 thirds of the time, even with flawless execution, you'll be stuck with 15. And now you know why getting the maximum number of coins from a multi-coin block in SMB1 is so convoluted. But hey, one thing's for sure, it's not 10. At this point, some people are probably wondering how feasible getting 16 coins is to pull off. Is it doable? Sure, but you have to execute extremely well and get pretty lucky. It does happen from time to time. Here's a clip of me doing it in the first week Mario 35 came out. As far as I could tell, the multi-coin blocks in that game worked exactly the same as the original. <sighs> Rest in peace, Mario 35. Also another really cool clip of this is Andrew G clutching out 16 coins on the very last multi-coin block in his high score world record. So... 16. Good boy. If all of this sounded really hard or unlikely to you, try getting 12 coins from a block of small Mario. Or more specifically, any block that's 3 tiles above Mario's head. When a block is this far above you, it takes 23 frames between each hit. The math wizards watching instantly know why that's a big deal. They're popping off right now. Remember, at best you have 230 frames to work with, and in this case, 23 frames per hit, means that under optimal conditions and with perfect execution, you can get 10 hits in before your time runs out. Add on the free first and last hit, and you get 12 coins. Now, maybe with the number of people that have played this game, it's happened at some point, but I'm not sure there's any video proof anywhere of someone doing this non-task. Maybe I should make a cash bounty for it. I'm kind of afraid of the fake submissions I definitely get for it though. Maybe I'll just do it myself. Everyone who made it here, thanks for watching. I actually intended for this video to be about the history of the multi-coin block in all the mainline Mario games, but I accidentally talked about SMB1 for way too long. I'll still do the rest of the games in a follow-up video, so subscribe so you don't miss it.